Hello everyone, welcome to Phoebe's Story. Today I'm going to show you guys how I season my Lagome Nitrican Lightweight Cast Iron Wok. I have actually already uploaded a, a shorter instrumental version in my channel roughly about two weeks ago. So you can click on the link in the cards or uh, in the video or you can also refer to the description box as I will have the link listed uh, in the description box. So before we start season the wok, we need to uh, give it a nice wash and then wipe it dry. In the recent trend, cast iron has been acknowledged as one of the safest and healthiest cookware because it's natural, it's without chemicals or coatings, and this Lagome Nitrogen uh, Wok is using the latest revolutionary press cast technology which makes the cast iron uh, roughly about 30% lighter than the normal traditional cast iron. It is also used a special nitrating technology that uh, makes the cast iron highly rust resistant and strong so it practically can use it from generation to generation as what is stated in the box. By the way, this is not a paid review or a paid uh, product placement video. Um, I'm actually uh, first time trying to use this cast iron and I got interested when I know that I can actually use cast iron on a induction. All along, I thought that those you know traditional type cast iron where hawker stall is using can only use on stove. So when I found that, oh, actually this one can be used on uh, induction, I was intrigued and I got it like, okay, let's just place order and let, let's try using a cast iron because people said um, using cast iron, we, what we cook can have the wok hay. So uh, it's, I really, really want to try that out. I have done my research on how to season a wok and I find that this method is the easiest for me to follow through. So just heat up the wok with oil. Um, roughly about a quarter cup of oil then swirl it around then after that uh, heat it up to medium heat I don't use high heat uh, I've been using like you know non-stick pan for so long it's my habit that I don't use high heat so uh, actually medium heat is way good enough to season the wok so once the oil is heat up use a kitchen towel I use about two pieces then fold it up into a small square and I use my uh, slotted, uh, slotted turner to just wipe it around on the whole inner side of the wok. Once the wok is uh, heated through, um, I can see the smoke coming out, then I turn it to low heat and I keep using uh, the kitchen towel to swirl around to just wipe around the inner side of the wok for about like 10 minutes. Seasoning the wok is actually to kind of like uh, create a layer of patina which is the natural coating to make it non-stick. So with the patina coating on the pan, uh, you will have the non-stick effect. Even though cast iron is a non-non-stick pan, you can still have the non-stick effect. If you see any discoloration on the wok, it, it's normal, there's nothing to worry because that's the patina coating. And I will do an extra step um, recommended by a friend is that after season the wok, it's best to stir fry a bowl of chives, Chinese chives, as it said that it will actually help to absorb any uh, odors and also the chemical release, the signs stuff released from the chives will actually help to season the wok better. After stir frying the chives, then just uh, wash the wok with clean water. Just water will do. Rinse it off and then wipe it dry. And also uh, heat up again on the induction for about like 20 to 30 seconds on low heat to make sure that the wok is thoroughly dry. Um, it is recommended that uh, not to use any detergent after you season the wok. Just use uh, water to clean off to make sure it's clean and then let it dry. It is recommended not to use any detergent to wash the wok after you season it because um, detergent will actually remove the patina coating and you may need to keep re-seasoning the wok. 
So just use uh, clean water to wash it with you. Normally, uh, after I start cooking, I will just add a cup of water into the hot wok, give it a nice scrub with a brush, and then bring it to the sink and give it a thoroughly wash with water. I have been using it for about like a week or two and so far I do not need to re-season the wok. It has a very nice non-stick effect on the wok and I do repeat the steps of make sure that it's dry before I storing it and if you feel that your uh, wok is not uh, it's not having the non-stick effect that you want then you can just uh, re-season it. One thing good about cast iron is that you can use a stainless steel turner which uh, I don't have. I still use my wood turner because I still have quite some of the non-stick pan that I'm using. But if you like those, you know, kyang 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 sound while cooking, then um, yes, this wok is suitable because um, you do not need to worry that it will scratch or dent or anything. It's just, it can just last you for a, a lifetime or you can pass it down to your next generation. So if you were to ask me, I would say that this is actually a very good investment. So uh, if you have any question, do feel free to ask. And thank you for watching. Bye.